With the script now running, I'll simply click the button to initiate the printing, and the printout is exactly as expected using the data points from the Google Sheet document. And as you can see in the background, the Google Sheet document is updated in real time right after the label is printed. Let's print a couple more to see the program working consistently. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Oxcript Tutorials. In the last episode, we showcased how to read RFID information from RFID tags. And in this episode, we're going to quickly go over some of the ways you can use that information, namely reading data from a Google Sheet document and logging the TID information back into the same Google Sheet document so that the printing process as well as the changes can be tracked in real time. Let's get started. So I created a folder with a new file to work on communicating with Google Sheets. It's separated from reading RFID tag information since the two functionality doesn't really depend on each other for anything. It was certainly a better idea to keep the two modules separate and combine them later when you verify both of them works exactly how you expect them to. I have my IDE of choice open as well as the dependencies downloaded. If you haven't seen the first episode, I would certainly recommend checking it out before continuing as it goes over how to install the dependency as well as how to install your custom programs onto the printer. The link to the first video is going to be down in the description below. Now, without out of the way, we can talk about how to read and write to the Google Sheet document. Google themselves actually have a pretty good tutorial on how to set up bot access. The link to the tutorial is going to be down in the description as well. It is a fairly quick process that only takes about 5 to 10 minutes, and you should end up with a file that looks like this. This file will be unique to you, and you should definitely keep it a secret so we don't leak any of our data. Google actually also provide a Python library that allows us to interact directly with cloud documents called Gspread. You can install that pretty easily with just a pipe3 install Gspread. I would certainly recommend that you install the dependencies on your computer just so you can test it out, but the printers themselves already have the dependencies built in, so no additional environmental configuration will be needed. I have created a demo file called Google Sheet Print Demo, and I filled it with some random data points. I have left three columns in the back called printed by, printed at, and TID empty. So whenever the label is printed, I want to mark down the exact time that the printer printed the label, which printer it was printed by, and also the TID of the RFID tag that was printed for better logging and easier management down the line. Jumping back into our IDE, let's first gain access to that file. Google has actually done majority of the legwork for us. We just need to pass in the generated file like so, and we need to tell Google to look for the specific file called Google Sheet Print Demo, which is the name we defined when we created the file. And since the file only has one active sheet, we'll set the active worksheet to sheet one. Since connecting to the file is something that we'll need to do again, I just quickly extracted the logic into a function. And I ended up using a global variable for the worksheet so that we can use the same or active worksheet in other functions a lot easier. Now we can connect to the worksheet with a single function, and we can read in rows of information using the built-in function worksheet.rowValues, and I'm going to give it a value of 2. Printing row 2 out will give up the same information as the Google Sheet, and we can use this method to read in all the information on this worksheet. We have a lot of data points in this example, and to have a label that encompasses so much information, we have to have a little bit more of a sophisticated label design and I'm way too lazy to write all that out in code. And just like shown in the first video, we can very easily design the label in a graphical label editor and just update the value in it when we're actually printing. For this example, I'm using Bartender as my label editor and I just finished designing the label. One thing I would like to point out is that for all the text, I left the data field as aux input. This way, we can use Oxcript to update its value before printing while maintaining the overall label design, and I'll simply print it to file which will give me a form file that looks like this. I have moved the form file to the same folder as the main script, and I can update the values in the form file using the built-in function called ptk update all form variables. I'm updating them with the row values I obtained from the Google Sheet document, and after the form value is updated, we can send it over to be printed by the printer using ptk send command to printer. Now that we can use data points from the Google Sheet to print, we also would like to be able to write data points back into the Google Sheet for better logging and better tracking. We can do so with the function update cell. We need to write back when it was printed, which printer it was printed by, 
and the TID of the tag. So I will have three update functions corresponding to each one. Now we have all the pieces necessary for reading and writing to Google Sheets. We can work on combining that with our RFID reading program. And because we extracted most of the functionalities into functions, we can very easily just copy and paste it in the right spaces. Here's what the file looks like after a bit of cleanup. We have the new Google Sheet related functions up top and the old RFID functions below. The only changes I've made is that I added a new connect to worksheet function before the PTK UI initialization, as well as I changed the print label to use the value that we get from the actual rows of the Google Sheet document. And that's it. That's all we need to do on the coding side. Let's see it in action. I've uploaded the program to the printer so I can run it directly from the printer's screen. If you don't know how to upload the program to the printer, please check out the first tutorial video, which I've linked in the video description below. With the script now running, I'll simply click the button to initiate the printing, and the printout is exactly as expected using the data points from the Google Sheet document. And as you can see in the background, the Google Sheet document is updated in real time right after the label is printed. Let's print a couple more to see the program working consistently. Now, Google Sheet is just one of the many cloud or local data storage solutions that Oxscript can interface with. Feel free to let me know down in the comments if there's any other examples that you would like to see. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.